Shalom and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints. This is our Brown to Lead edition and it's the week before Purim. Purim, it comes out of the book of Esther in the Bible and it's an exciting time where Queen Esther prepares herself for her king and uh, she does it in order to bring correction to the king in regards to God's desires in his kingdom and on earth, not his desires or uh, his wife's desires, Queen Vashti, or another man who he trusted, Haman, who we learned about to say boo, that Haman was also trusted until he was exposed actually by the anointing that was on Esther. I want to talk to you about the fact that when you prepare to soak in the Holy Spirit, Esther, uh, you know, she listened to her uncle Mordecai. He said, get yourself ready for the king. And they started to prepare her by soaking in different oils. So let's bring it into, obviously, we're not asking you to go out and spend a bunch of money on anointing oils and fragrant oils and go soak in your tub. This isn't Calgon. This is the Holy Ghost, okay? But you need to be in the house of God. When the anointing and the glory is falling, you need to be soaking. You need to be soaking, 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 because you never know when the opportunity is going to knock. And when it does, you get before the king and your words are so critical, particularly for those who intercede and pray. You need to be able to be heard and God takes action. God takes you seriously because your faith is intact. Soaking in the glory of God is basically what Esther had to do. She soaked in oil. We soak in the anointing. We need to soak in the glory. So this word today is make time for God, soak in his presence. Anytime you get in the car, put on worship music, sing worship. Don't, don't ever waste any time. Just allow the Lord and his glory to, to saturate you, preparing because you never know when the king is going to knock. And when he does, you, like Esther, need to be ready and say, I will not be silent. I will say what God tells me to say when he tells me to say it. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. Join you tomorrow. Shalom.